peeps, in this one, we're going to be um, taking another look at the um, version of Alice in Chains' Them Bones uh, that was performed by Andrea Orsini, which caught the eye of Christoph Jorsen, who um, is a patron of the channel. Thank you indeed for your support, sir. Um, and he wanted to have a look at the solo as well. So I've just done the whole thing. So um, here's me trying to play along with it. Forgive me, Andrea, if you watch this and you're horrified at my lack of skills, but um, he's, uh, he's a great, he's a multi-instrumentalist actually, he plays everything on the cover, so do check it out, I'll put the link in below and go and give him some love over there. Um, but yeah, here's his um, take on that solo. So first things first, we're in Alice in Chains standard tuning, which is you tune everything down half a step and then drop D. Now it comes out of the um, chorus kind of part really. So. And that note, 12th fret on the D, it becomes the first bar of the 7-4 part. which is how um, Andrea plays this. So that first part, this is just kind of pentatonic really. 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, right from the A, starting at the A string. Alternate picking, nothing weird there. Then you're gonna play this. Okay, I would learn that phrase next, so. Again, there's nothing too tricky here. You're all around the 12th fret and the 10th fret, basically. And again, slower, so slowly. Now when you go for this bit, I'm banking my first finger there. Then you're going to do a slight bend, it's like a... I think it's a full bend, but I struggle to get all the way there. It doesn't really matter if you can't. So bend, drop it down and play the 12th fret, and then do a hammer on 10th to 11th. And then you've got... Uh, my second finger then plays the 12th fret on the next string down, because I find it easier to play that 12 to 10 part. Okay, so again. Then you're gonna play that part. Okay, I'm not gonna call out all the notes because you've got the tab, I'll just slow it down. So that's just a half step bend there. Then up a string for the 10 and 13th fret. Now Andrew here plays, which I can almost get to, but for the sake of ease, if you've got a, um, you know, a guitar which is a bit more unforgiving, you could just do, do this to get the same effect. See, I can't really hit that bend with, uh, without feeling like I'm going to snap the string. Anyway. So this run now is quite long, so let's break it up into chunks. You've got this. Get that bit first, then the start of the next bar. Learn that bit next. So 
So let me slow it down. I'm sliding up using my third finger there, and the 13th fret. Then now you can either slide down using your first finger, using your third finger there, 14th to the 12th, or play play 14, 12, and then slide down to the 10. Or same thing, you're just putting the slide in a different place, right? Entirely up to you. Then you've got this. 12, 13, 10, 13, 10. Very bluesy. Then. In 12 10 on the next um, string up, okay. So that very slowly, then this. And then you're into the next phrase, which is actually lifted straight from the tune, right? That's what um, Jerry does. So it's a very long run of notes, but it's not super quick. So I just recommend that you just keep going over it until you learn it, and then you'll be able to play it easier, right? So again, we're gonna go. Then this part. Let's stop there. Lovely and melodic, isn't it? So you've got the 13th fret. Then you bend, you play the 12th fret, but bend it back up to the 13th fret. And then play the 12th fret again. Then, and again there, I'm using my second finger to play the 12th fret on the D there. Okay. Now here, you're gonna need to play it's a bit jazzy there. So, um, and you already got your first finger on the 10th fret there. So, so what I would try to do if you can, when you go for this bit, and then you go back to that, I would try and fret that here on your finger, right? So, so I'm not going back to it on my tip, because then it's gonna, I'm going to struggle to get that next um, adjacent um, note. Okay, so if you if you play it with a bit more meat of your finger, so that your uh, the top part of your first finger is overhanging the next string, then you're in the right place already. Okay, so all right. So then to speed, and you can play it quickly. All right. Then you slide from the 10th to the 9th fret. And then 10, 12. 10, 12, 10. And the next bar is the 9th fret. It's lovely. It's a really lovely use of, um, use of the scale. And then it resolves. So you've kind of, all of this sort of stuff. that stuff sounds very noodly uh, because it kind of needs to resolve and then when you get to the and you've got that really familiar sounding part okay so it's a really nice intro to the solo so so far we have this so far. Now this part, that's great. Ninth fret, then up to the 13th, play that three times, then play uh, 11, 10. Again, you probably want to play, um, have your first finger overhanging that um, G string there on the 10th fret. So when you come here, See my fingers covering that extra string? If you play on the tips of your fingers, you, you're, you're never going to be able to get the next string down, right? right? 
and he does this lovely phrase. Which is lovely, okay? Loads of feel in it. So. Then you're gonna play. Such a lovely phrase, isn't it? Good work, Andrea, it's amazing. Anyway, you go. Again, it's all kind of pentatonic stuff. 12, 10, 9. But just watch the, the kind of accents, really. You could play. I don't know if he does do that, it's hard to hear. So, 12, 10, 10, 12, 10, 12, then you've got this, 10, 13, 10, 10, bend on the 13th fret, full bend, classic kind of blues rock stuff, then you've got this, where it gets a little bit jazzy again. So that there, that should be pretty straightforward. It's just um, rests in between each note. Then you're going to do a quick slide from the 8th to the 10th, and then 10, 12. Okay. This bit's tricky. It's, um, it's quick, basically. It's just pentatonic, but it's um, got a triplet feel, so it's... And then the chords behind change to the... Into that bit, right? Um, so you'll be playing this. Okay? And again, you want to kind of emphasise... Play some of the notes, you know, stronger than others, otherwise it'll sound like a robot playing it. So that again, slowly. So I'm doing a down stroke there with the hammer on, then an up stroke. And then it's just alternate picking from there. Now this bit really stuck out for me because it's a real climactic bit of the solo and it just goes chromatic crazy. So it's very um, jazz sounding. And you've got this, for, the first part's easy enough. That's straightforward. Then seven five. And then the first beat of the bar is this. Resolves again with that lovely sort of bluesy. All right, again, I'm getting carried away. I do love the solo. So that phrase to speed anyway. So good, man. You, honestly, it's not as difficult as it sounds. So you're playing eight, seven, six. But then you do a slide from the fourth to the fifth. So rather than playing, that's what gives it that. Gives it that real jazzy flavour, doesn't it? So then you're going to play. Learn that bit first. Then you're going to play. So it's kind of two distinct phrases there already that, have, that appear. All right, so let's slow those down. Then. And then the riff carries on with more chromaticness. And then. 
So, slowly, but all together. And again. It's a lot of notes to remember. I'm reading it as well. So, that last part, five, seven, six, five, six, seven. It's just really lovely use of that. Definitely don't skip that bit, learn all of that. Then, so the sixth fret, and then a rest. And then you play the seventh fret and the next string down. And then you play this. That's pretty straightforward, it's just pentatonic, bluesy. Then you've got this. Then you've got this. This is this might be tricky. I'm not I think that's what he plays there. So You could do a bend there if you want. I like the... You do a very quick slide from the 5th fret and then back down. And then a pull off to the 3rd fret. And there's a bit of a bend on the 3rd fret there. So, slowly. slide from with your first finger on the A string there, third to fifth. I mean that's just a great blues riff, you could use that anywhere. Alright, then right at the end you just got this final phrase. Hope that's given you some ideas on what you can do over this. It's a banger. So um, yeah, I'd encourage you to have a little play around. See you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.